Now, the last week of October, it is more like the <clears throat> a brand new beginning, but it's a beginning that's full of tricks, okay? Especially if someone is taking advantage of you or you're playing tricks on someone. This is not really advisable as karma will definitely be biting you back. If someone is playing tricks on you while you're having your um, brand new beginning, then definitely that person will have a whip of their own karma as well. Now, the month of November, it's all about listening to your intuition and to your instinct, okay? Don't brush off whatever that you will be feeling that is a little bit off or if there is like a danger ahead or if there is somebody that you don't want to trust or that you feel like you cannot really trust. Don't, don't brush it off. Now, in the month of December, you will be feeling a little bit lonely, isolated, and somewhat a little bit... Um, well off the hook from someone because of a huge fight that's going to be taking place around the month of november okay and this is also a time of reflection this is a time of thinking about a lot of things balancing and finding yourself again okay now review and contemplation you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present and you'll get clearer in your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking and be the real you. Now the five of thought, the path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. Now, the seven of action, you're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no and it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with the others. This is the reason why you're going to be feeling a little bit isolated and depressed in the month of December. In the month of November, it seems like if there is a major decision uh, stuff that you have to make or like a, you know, like choosing between two people or two jobs or if you want to quit your job listen more to your instinct okay if there are somebody who's been drink has been bringing unwanted dramas into your life brush them off let's take a look at your monthly details I don't see any bad card for the last week of February for you.
All right. The last week of October for you will be, it seems like you'll be winning someone's heart, especially if you're trying to get back someone into your life, okay? Even though that there is a very slim chance or small, or small opportunity through your hard work and through your patience, you will definitely be you know, getting the heart of this person back into your life. There will be some changes and you just need to juggle. But there is a brand new beginning, brand new opportunity. And there is a like long and winding road that is waiting for the two of you. Now, when it comes to your work, it seems like if you're trying to get a promotion, new position or new job, you will definitely be gaining this. Plus, this will also heal the rift that you've been having with your partner at this point, okay? Changes are coming up ahead of you and there will be some financial windfall and financial stability. You just need to avoid somebody who's an air sign around you that is from the past but is already married, okay? Especially if you're already married too. Now, if you're, if you're feeling a little bit tempted to go down that road, don't. Because there is a big karma that awaits you, okay? And you will somehow feel more guilty and this will be blocking you from continuing your successful journey along with your work. Because, you know, you're being rewarded for all of your hard works in the past and don't waste it just because of a temporary happiness, okay? Now, as far as your love life is concerned again person from the past re-emerging communicating and coming back into your life changes are also coming up ahead but you need to make a choice and you need to you know to make a decision about this be very careful and use your own logic uh, you need to see the truth and think with your brain and not with your heart and then you will just you know, if you are planning, okay, to deceive your partner right now, especially for those who's already in, in a relationship, you'll definitely be get caught up and there will be a big blowout in your domestic life and there will be a big confrontation, okay? So, yes, you were, you were, uh, you were successful in your job and you are successful in obtaining this person's heart back again, but... Come to think of it, your domestic life is already ruined because of this temporary happiness because this person will also be running away from you and will be betraying you and letting you down. The person from the past that you're trying to get back to. If you're already married. For singles, I feel like by the time that you will try to move in together, same problems that occurred during the time when you were still together and before you broke up, it will reoccur again. It will also be the same reason why you're going to be breaking up for the nth time. Okay. Now, as far as your sex life is concerned, you're going to have an active passion, well, active and passionate outdoor lovemaking. Okay. You need to balance and... I feel like if you already have a family at this point, try to think of your own family and of your own kids, okay? Before really getting down into that point or getting down into that lane. And even if you'll make a choice to stick around with the one that you're already with, stop thinking about this person and you need to get over it, okay? Now, you will be spending more late nights outside along with your friends but and uh, don't drink too much beer because i feel like this is where you will notice yourself being bloated and for women the bloatedness uh, that you're feeling or that you're having you need to check out with the doctor okay because i feel like there's something to do with an underlying of our of our uh, sorry offer me related problems or uh digestive related problems it, it, like cyst or Anyway, um, now as far as your immune system is concerned, it's just need to, um, you need to take more supplements. I'm picking up the uh, vitamins D and E, plus you also need to get more exercise and get more sun because you're always looking pale. Now, 
you will also be meeting and you will also be gathering with uh, some other people and uh, of different cultures and you will also be very much interested in herbal stuff or how herbal works or how it cures certain types of diseases okay so let's take a look at your oracle cards for the month Passion, express your love, forgiving and learning. Nurture yourself, ask for what you want, perfectionism. is in conflict come to the edge all right as i've said that your sex life will be full of actions during this last week of the month and you need to express yourself okay or you will be expressing yourself and flirting with this person that you have in mind that you're going to be with but you also need to ask for someone else's forgiveness and you need to learn your from your past mistakes and lessons okay nurture yourself investing time in self-care will now yield more energy for you later as for what you want clear communication within yourself with God and with others help you avoid misunderstandings and uh, speeds up the process of answered prayers perfectionism polishing your creative project is fine but don't allow perfectionistic fear to result in procrastination now happy there is happiness that is already in store and waiting around the bend for you okay you just need to find the right path the right light and the right choice and do what is actually do what is actually the right thing to do and not what you really want to have at this point chaos and conflict there is a certain um, confusion that's been going and brewing inside of you but why are you currently like looking for another you know another window outside of your relationship is it because you're just bored that you're not really understanding each other is it because that your connection have already fizzled out or is it just because that you're pretty much discontented and you're afraid of your own ghost ask yourself now come to the end you can't always live on the safe side sometimes you know uh walking on the edge can give you more life satisfaction and you just need to dare you just need to become a little bit more bold and daring and uh, learn how to gamble okay don't always be afraid let's take a look at your november
It seems like you are finally be addressing your real destiny and you're now ready to face a brand new beginning, a brand new life. And I also feel like you will be, you will have a brighter future or you will be settling down in a place that has a different culture, tradition and language. You will be walking away and you'll be moving on. Plus there is a fortune, prosperity or abundance that awaits you. I also feel like you may need consider well you may need to consider going working or visiting Middle East. Ah, three is a crowd. All right, in the month of November, it's all about listen, listening to your gut feeling, okay? Now, you will be dealing with some contract signing with some higher people or higher ups, and it seems like there is a work that, it's not that you're not going to be delivering, but it will be late or delayed, and you or your bosses will be a little bit upset and disappointed because of your uh, performance, okay? Now, you will be working double, Okay, during this month, and you will somehow learn your lesson, plus looking for more courses or for more trainings that can help you, that can actually help you to grow and to learn more about your future endeavor. Okay, now, just don't, you know, the problem here is try to tone down your attitude or try to keep your feet flat on the ground. Okay, and, uh, be a little bit humble in your new beginnings. You're afraid to be transferred. There is something that you're trying to fight for or to fight of and you're going to do anything and everything for this not to happen. You're also afraid of being transferred or moved to a new department. And you know that if ever that this happens, this is the start of your downfall. You will be winning through, but then somehow there is another offer. There, is, there, there will be two options that you have to think long and hard about. And this is all about making that crucial decision. And before you leave, okay? And before you, it seems like there is something or there's one thing that you will be sacrificing in order to make way for this other, for this other, um, hmm, other offer, other opportunity, another chance. And hmm, you'll be walking away with it. Let's see if you're going to have a brighter future. No. You know, don't be so don't be so greedy, okay? Be a little bit con contented because if you're going to be accepting something that you feel like is even better and big uh, even better and bigger then you're going to find out that these people are just lying and they're just going to they're just going to ruin your trust in your job as well, you know? So, better be contented with whatever you already have. Now, when it comes to your, when it comes to your, uh, what do you call this, to your love life, 
you will be changing your entire world or your entire scenario environment or you know uh, the way you be you will be approaching life and things in general your life will be changing and, and will be turning for the better i'm also seeing an international opportunity and chance plus international move and you'll be moving with much more prosperity and abundance and you will be traveling mostly around the middle east now for your sex life you need to drop the other person if this is not what you really want and if this is what you really need in life then stop it okay you need to drop off the other person and if you're having an affair with somebody who's already married you need to think for yourself and cut it off okay you can have a very loving contented and well sweet and hot partner and the key is only with you okay the key is with you whether how will this relationship thrive now for your health you need to eat more vegetables and you need to well you also need to eat more crops and um, you will be getting involved into some sort of a home planting or gardening okay you'll be planting like vegetables that are that can easily grow and that you can grow inside a house you're on your path to healing and you will be learning about a lot of things especially that you will be very keen and very interested in farming during this well during this month and i feel like you i'm also picking up a hobby of aquapod okay or you'll be much more interested in marine life or marine stuff um, I feel like aquarium can also help you because you need to have a diversion instead of you cheating and instead of you spending time with uh, some incessant things. I'm not saying that all Aquarius are, are um, cheaters, okay? Some, okay, some. Now, and I feel like this will help you to heal more of your relationship as well because this will make you grow and you will be discovering something about yourself that you haven't known before. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards. Two thousand eighteen sorry, two thousand seventeen has been very good for you. Aquarius. Hopefully two thousand Oh, sorry. 2017 has been good to you, and 2018 hopefully will also be good. Romantic feelings. Stay optimistic about your love life. Religious factors. Even though the two of you are actually pretty much different from each other, you need to accept, okay? If there are some things that you feel like is not really acceptable, then find a way in how to communicate to make them change it. Stay optimistic about your love life. Don't always be so skeptical or pessimistic about things. There's always a, you know, a room for each and every one of us to grow. And you don't really have to keep on pointing or to be so harsh in criticizing somebody. You know, just for them to change. Because they will change. You just need to have more ways of communicating and saying things instead of offending them. Romantic feelings. You do have deep feelings for this person. It's just that you are acting more on your immature side. And you do have deep feelings for each other. You are each other's true love. Now, you, like of all God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. You're serving. You project like a newborn baby. Your actions are growing your idea into a reality. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Deep knowing. You know, you're actually 
a very analytical, logical, smart individual. But right before making such a decision or getting involved into something, try to think long and hard about what will the consequences be. Building blocks, you only need to set some boundaries and limitations, but don't um, raise your walls up high because you would just be isolating yourself and you would just become even more vulnerable. Go the distance. There is definitely a short distance. That, sorry, short distance that you're gonna be crossing and uh, tracking down, and you're gonna be the winner. Okay, you're you'll be um you will be reaching the finish line because I keep on getting the success card. Let's take a look at your December forecast. All right. You're really hard-headed. Bacteria and parasites, be very careful, especially if you're not really having safe sex. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this month of December, I feel like you will be, be, you will be betrayed by your so-called friends. People that you trust. And there are actually two, uh, sorry, three. One water sign, one earth sign, one fire sign. Okay? These are the people that you actually trust that you won't even believe that they are going to you know that they're that they could do something like this to you now this actually means the end of your friendship of course because when the betrayal occurs and when they did something behind you obviously the trust is no longer there okay i don't feel like you know this first th this people for such a long period of time but let's say five five to th three to five years something like that and you'll find out that these people are just pretty much um, somebody who's two-faced, wearing a mask, liars, and they do take advantage of people and they find entertainment on that. And this month of December, you will become one of their victims. Okay? You'll somehow feel like You've shared a lot of memories together that right after for how many years you never really thought that they could really turn one day to you and, you know, do the same thing to what they do to other people. But then, let bygones be bygones, just move on, but just cut off the cords, okay? Now, you will also be fearing and you will also start thinking about whether you should just move to a new place, new town, or a new country. And you don't even know, okay? 
and you will somehow feel a little bit nostalgic because you feel like you're much even more safer with the place that you used to live before in a place where you used to you know to be happy and where you used to find that love but then you just get stuck there because there's not that much opportunity and it's just a very hidden and uh, curved place now just be very careful and weigh down all of your options especially when there is like job or finances that's involved okay if you need to make a decision about something try to make a decision when you already have a clear mind and you will think from your head and not from your heart now the person that you're gonna be having a um, like an outside relationship or that you already have in a relationship right now you will soon find out that this person is also conniving with somebody who's an earth sign okay and you will somehow find out that this person is seeing someone that you also know and this remember i told you in the month of october and november that be careful in uh playing around with somebody else's feelings and getting involved with this kind of thing because karma will definitely bite you back and this person will only use you and betray you and see it already happened in the month of december so now that this is already being shown to you in advance i'm sure that you can try and think to avoid you know doing the same thing again now you will be walking away you will start thinking about a lot of things and you'll just make a decision that it's just time to cut it off and at least you have all of the experience how it is you will be very feisty fiery and will be very sensitive as well and it's like you will be changing because of your self-anger okay uh, well the good thing about december is that you'll be receiving big amount of money and you will be very happy okay i also feel like someone will well if i feel like there will be a uh, like a good news from your from your wife or from uh or if you're a female aquarius there will definitely there will definitely be a very good news of pregnancy well, pregnancy about uh, well, well, some will have an ectopic pregnancy, some will have a normal pregnancy. So just be very careful. It is much better for you to go and see your obigaini and check out, check with them. Okay, it's much better. But some will have a boy on the way. Okay, now for your sex life this will be a very aggressive month for you it's like on and off and right after having sex you will notice that there is something off with your partner or with, or with the one that you're having an outside relationship with and this is where some of the things that you should know or that you have to know will start revealing on its own and the person won't even feel guilty but instead they're going to feel more relieved well what kind of attitude is that and about your health be careful with parasites and untreatable bacteria, okay? Be careful in eating fish and the insides of the fish because I feel like you will always be getting some live worms there. Especially if you're going to eat it raw. And go organic. I also feel like you will try planting or you will learn planting, okay? About crops and... Well... You'll be very much interested in corn during this month. So what's with the gardening anyway? Anyway, this is just a part of a new hobby. But I feel like you'll be going organic during this month. And you will also be replacing your usual chemically, chemically treated food. Especially like, you know, like coffee, instant coffee or something like that. And instant food. You will be going organic and you'll be... Uh, learning new things and how to keep yourself healthy and lastly your eyes okay vertigo and but there will be some blackouts okay i feel like that has something to do with the nerve in your brain anyway it's much better for you to go and check out with your neuro and take a test okay
Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Deception. Let your friends help you. Heart to heart conversations. You know, <laughs> you are kind of deceiving somebody, and the person that you're deceiving with will kind of deceive you as well. So, the karma is too quick. I am not saying that all of us, uh, all of Aquarians, are cheating. Okay, some. Stay true to yourself. Perfectionism. Happy news. You know, you have a very rich and unique ideas. It's just that you always put love right before your priorities, you know? You have to change this. Regeneration, off to the sea, message in a bottle. Deception. Well, as I've said, I feel like some of the Koreans right now are really going to get involved with some outside relationships. Okay, You know, for you to heal and for you to find the right path because it's not yet too late for you to save up your relationship. Let your friends help you. Okay, ask for some guidance, for some counseling, or vent out to somebody that you don't know without any judgment or prejudice. You need to talk to the to your partner right now, and obviously you're not going to tell what you have done, because that will just result more in, in breakup. But try to make up for all of your mistakes, even without telling. And someday you'll be at, you will be forgiven even without asking for it, okay? Now, stay true to yourself. Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Learn to trust and follow your own inner voice. Perfectionism, polishing your creative project is fine, but don't allow perfectionistic fear to result in procrastination. Happy news, your prayer is answered in a creative way. Now, regeneration, whatever that did, did, sorry, whatever that did not really work out in the past, it will work out now. And it will spruce up. And if you feel like before, it's never going to grow. This time, it's going to grow um, twigs and branches and leaves. Okay, it's going to give you shed. Now, off to the sea because you need to find yourself. What is it that you really want? And why do you do the things that you do that you know that will ruin your reputation in your life? Now, message in a bottle, there is a lesson that you have to learn that you just need to pay attention and your guides are trying to tell you something for you to learn your lesson. All right, let's take a look at your 2018. January, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Uh, don't see any bad cards. Well, not that much. Now, the month of January for you is all about hiding, fear, plus being discontented, starting to look outside of fans and starting to look far beyond, okay? Uh, I feel like you need to have some serious counseling about your own issues because it seems like you're trying to hold on and you're trying to stay in a relationship that 
there's only a, well there's another reason aside from love okay but if you feel like you're already discontented dissatisfied and no longer happy in a relationship it's time for you to bail out okay the month of february i feel like some aquarius has already coupled and he's going through a lot of hard times and rough times this is a time where you will start thinking about filing for a divorce there are also some legal battles and there are also some legal legal stuff that you will be um, a little bit preoccupied and busy as well the month of march there is more likely celebration attending events parties mingling with friends socializing meeting new people and you will be wasting your time around attending other parties that you're not even invited sometimes okay you will be losing yourself and you will be leaving your dreams behind just because of your depression and i feel like some of you will be going through a midlife crisis now the month of april for you well there will be well there will be three things that you will be losing but you will actually forgot how to appreciate those two that's still standing okay whatever those three things are you will know it in time the month of may it's all about work working hard finding work finding a new job attending job interviews and working on yourself like attending some rehab or some workshop or something like that for you to ha for you to heal and for you to get cured now the month of june for you you will somehow find that your money your savings or your finances are starting to drift apart they're starting to dwindle it's time for you to hold on tight now in the month of july it's all about family and family er, and relying to your family's help rely to your family support and advice the month of August, you will be walking away and you will start isolating yourself. The month of August for you, oh sorry, September, you will be feeling all high and mighty and there is somebody who is a relative or a fire sign person that will try to back you up. But then I hope that you're not going to, you know, um, let this person down because of the trust that they are going to be giving to you. The month of September, there will be a big decision that you, that you have to make and it will be made on your behalf plus if you applied for a divorce in the month of february then definitely i feel like this is the time where it will be granted the month of november there is a celebration and there is a um call for freedom okay that you will be dancing on to but is it really what you feel the month of December, it's all about uh, maternal issues, issues about motherhood, issues about children, and issues about taking care of yourself. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this forecast, Aquarius. If you want to have your own personalized readings and advanced 2018 forecast, please go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.